Hi, I'm Seth with Land a House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate. In this video, I want to talk to you about waste valves. There are only two valves in the ram pump, the waste valve and the secondary or inline valve. And the waste valve is definitely the brains of the operation. The weight and size of this valve determine basically the size of the pump and the amount of pressure you're going to be getting from the pressure wave that's coming in here. So it's very important to have a valve that is heavy enough to close at the right speed to give a good pressure wave. You typically want about one cycle per second. In the Land House pump, I use a lead-free brass valve, and it is a swing valve. So if I swing this, you can hear it flapping back and forth. Now, some people like to use a poppet valve, kind of like a foot valve, but uh, you have to make sure that there is no spring in that style valve for it to operate correctly. And from my experience, I've found that the pin that's holding that down wears out fairly quickly and it will lock up the valve. So you definitely want to buy a high quality valve if you're going to use a foot valve style. Now with the swing valve, it will last, the brass valve will last somewhere around a year, which is close to 31 million cycles. That's a lot. So let's go ahead and do an experiment real quick. I have got, I have got a PVC valve with the spring removed and that will act the same way as this swing valve. But I'm not sure there's enough weight here to get the same results as this valve. So let's go ahead and run a test and see how these two compare. First we'll go with the brass swing valve and we'll gain a PSI on the delivery end. And then we'll come back and do the same with this valve. To run this test, I have the pump down here on a 20 foot drive pipe with approximately three feet of head pressure. And I'm just using a bucket to uh, run as a source here. And I'm filling this up with some water. For the first test, I have the pump empty. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the drive pipe. And now I'm just going to push this until it starts and I'm gonna time it for one minute. Okay, here we go. One minute. Okay, we've got 20, two, three, four, 26 PSI in a minute. So 26. Now let's swap out this valve for the PVC and see if it even works. Test number two with the PVC spring valve with spring removed. Pressure has been let out of the valve. Let's go ahead and open this. All right, let me go ahead and tap this valve down and see if we can even get this to work. I'm actually seeing the valve cycle back and forth really, really fast, which means that valve is not heavy enough to keep this going. So I think that's enough to conclude that the spring valve with the spring removed is not gonna be heavy enough to get the ram pump going. So you do want to have a valve that is heavy enough like the brass swing valve, but I want to increase the quality and lifespan of my land house ram pumps, and that's why I am considering stainless steel valves. This right here is hopefully going to be able to increase the life of the pump from one year to maybe two or even three years. It's also going to increase my cost by a, a good bit, So, uh, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, down here in the creek with my personal ram pump, it's been clicking away for well over three months now. I'm gonna remove this valve, the brass valve, and replace it with the stainless steel and see how well it does.
it is working. And the first thing I noticed is that the snap is much more solid. I don't know if that's uh, because of the extra weight on the valve, but it is definitely hitting with more force. Let's take a look at this valve and see how it is faring. So, uh, you know, I'm not really seeing much wear on this one, which is pretty good. And if I move it back and forth, there's a little give, but not much. So that valve is actually doing quite well and has probably a good uh, six months or better on it before it's uh, had enough. So that's good. But this valve over here, I'm excited to say is working well. So I'm gonna give this a good couple of months of operation and see how well it lasts. One thing I'm noticing is that the valve is heavier and so it requires more water to close the valve. Now what does that mean? It just means that your source is gonna have to have more water than uh, with the brass valve. And I'm noticing this because I came up here to my bucket intake and noticed that it was pulling more water than I had going in. I have a one inch uh, supply line here and I had to go clean out the intake of the supply line to get enough water in the one inch line. So uh, as you can see, water is flowing back into my flume here. So I have enough, but as silt and debris clog up my supply line, it's gonna reduce that flow. So it goes back to the old saying of have a uh, three, two, one on your system, meaning you want to have a, ah, fly. <laughs> you wanna have a larger supply line coming down, feeding an even bigger uh, standpipe or bucket and then a smaller line going out as a drive pipe. So basically, if I were to increase this pipe to either double one inch or even a one and a quarter inch pipe, I would be able to bring more water to the bucket here and would be good to go. So just keep that in mind. Bringing this valve into some better light, do you see that bright shiny piece on the flapper in there? That is actually the wear that's happening. So when this closes, it's actually closing very consistently. I've seen them kind of kick off to the side and wear inconsistently. So this valve would probably last longer than uh, some of them have, but it is starting to see some wear down in there because there's a little bit of a lip on this side that it runs into. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to show that to you and mention that I am considering uh, improving the quality of the ram pump valve. For the two waste valve test, I used about 10 gallons of water. I turned off the water and went down and replaced that valve. And by the time I came back up here and uh, noticed my tanks had been filled and they're doing quite well with that new valve. So this thing replenished 10 gallons in no time at all here on my storage tanks. I know this test was kind of anticlimactic, but I just wanted to show that the weight of the valve makes a big difference in how the pump operates. The brass valve, as you see in all of the Land House pumps, works quite well. It is just heavy enough to get a good solid one cycle per second. Now, of course, that is based on head pressure and drive pipe length, but the valve weight is a pretty good weight. The PVC valve was too light. It never actually allowed the pump to have that ram effect so that it could create a pressure wave. So if you're gonna use something like this, you'd have to add some kind of weight down on it, whether that would be uh, attaching a big screw down in the hole with a couple of washers on it, I don't know. We might be able to revisit that in a later time, but uh, it's not heavy enough to work. And as you saw with the new stainless steel valve, it's heavier, which means it's gonna let more water come out before it snaps the valve shut. So um, it's definitely gonna be something I have to consider whenever I swap over. I'll have to increase all of my uh, gallon per minute rates a little higher to accommodate for that heavier valve. Hope you found this exciting or at least uh, informational. And uh, if you didn't already know, I have four different size RAM pumps available at landhouse.com or on Amazon. 
link in the description down below. If you found this video fun and helpful, hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And tune in pretty much every Monday for more Ram Pump videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.